Hey YouTube, this is Chris from DeLuca Painting. In this video, I'm going to show you how we paint stairwells safely and efficiently. As you can see, I got my multi-positional ladder in the extended position. I got it leaning on the far wall of my stairwell. Uh, the angle's pretty straight up, not, uh, not too steep because we don't want to put a lot of weight as we climb up the ladder on that far wall. Uh, it helps to prevent damaging the wall. Uh, as you can see, I'm starting my second cut. Uh, I always do two cuts before rolling the walls when I'm doing stairwells. Normally we like to cut and then roll immediately after, but in this situation it allows me to get two cuts done without leaning my ladder up against a freshly painted wall and I don't have to wait for the wall to dry before I can start my second cuts. Uh, so that's a little tip that I always use when doing stairwells. Um, you can see that I'm using my normal uh, cut setup. Uh, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, but it's just a two and a half inch brush with a four inch mini roller, a one gallon roller screen, and a two gallon bucket. And you can see I keep about an inch to two inches of paint in the bottom there. You don't want to load that bucket up. It helps to keep your brush nice and clean throughout the process. So I'm um, here doing the second cut. I'm taking my time. This is an older house, so it's hard to get uh, perfectly straight lines on these ceilings. Uh, but we do our best to keep the lines nice and straight. It is the line that most people notice when they enter a room that that ceiling cut is very important. So you want it to look sharp. If you're interested in learning how to cut, I got a video posted on my YouTube channel. If you don't mind taking your time to check it out, maybe subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps me to keep these videos going for you guys. Uh, and I really like doing them for you. So as you see, I'm just taking my time with the roller now. I like the roller, it gives that stipple effect and you get less brush strokes. It really helps to make your paint job look professional. Now that I got that done, I move my ladder into the A-frame position and I get it set up on the steps where I feel comfortable and safe. I know it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, my drop cloths are tucked nice and tight into the step. And this is how I continue up those staircase uh, without having to worry about uh, positioning the ladder in weird ways or, or reaching real far. I'm very comfortable doing it. Even though you are way above the stairs, um, it's a little scary the first couple of times you do it, but if you take your time, uh, pay attention to detail, and have your ladder set up correctly, it's perfectly safe. So I'll finish my cuts. And then eventually I'll roll the wall out. And that's how we do it at DeLuca Painting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.